The Senate laid Thursday passed a continuing resolution to fund the federal government until at least February that had cleared the House earlier in the day, diffusing a feud over COVID-19 vaccine mandates hours before the government would have been forced to shut down. Congress passed its last stopgap spending measure before a looming government shutdown in late September, extending government funding for about nine weeks. If the House and Senate had failed to pass another short-term funding bill by Friday, non-essential government services would have ground to a halt and many federal employees would have gone without pay. Despite the push to leverage the crisis to defund Biden's COVID-19 vaccine mandates for many workers, including a vaccine or test rule for companies with 100 or more employees, both Biden and Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell RKY, remained confident Thursday the government wouldn't shut down. Some of the Biden administration's COVID-19 vaccine rules are already on hold due to court challenges. An appeals court halted the vaccine or test policy for large private employers last month. Judges in Missouri and Louisiana stopped a vaccine mandate for Medicare and Medicaid-funded healthcare facilities earlier this week and a federal judge temporarily put a mandate for federal contractors on hold. Congress also needs to raise or suspend the debt ceiling, a cap on federal borrowing, in the coming weeks. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen estimated last month the federal government could run out of funds by December 15 if the debt limit isn't raised, possibly triggering a first-ever default on U.S. obligations. House passes last-minute funding bill to avert shutdown but Senate conservatives may still kill it over vaccine mandates, Forbes.